postdoc tests, um, uh, you can ask for more uh, more comparisons here, but not in a one way I know of. You have to have a between. I believe you have to have a between subjects effect to actually get these. And when you combine the repeated measures and a between subjects effect in the same ANOVA, you're talking about a split plot ANOVA, or what some people unfortunately call a mixed design ANOVA, which is confusing because sometimes people confuse it with a mixed effects ANOVA, which is actually a totally different analysis. Uh, so those are the, the main things I'm going to choose for this basic uh, one-way repeated measures ANOVA, and I'm going to click OK to run the analysis. Uh, so SPSS is going to give me um, the first box here, which is, uh, this first box here is a warning, and it's just telling me that it couldn't do one of the homogeneity of variance tests, uh, which is the uh, Levine's test of homogeneity of variance. In fact, you know, I'm not even too, uh, too sure if I had to click that homogeneity button, because re ANOVA might actually give the test that I'm going to take a look at in a second just automatically. Uh, so the within subjects table here is just telling me what my, my factor looks like. It's got three levels, time one, time two, time three. So people took the same IQ test three times in a row, let's just say uh, a month apart. And we can see the means and the standard deviations here, and we can see the mean is increasing linearly. So time one to time two, an increase of about 1.35, one about one point. Uh, in the means, and then it goes up again by about about one. And we can see the standard deviations here, and we can also see that the standard deviations are increasing across. And usually, in repeated measures designs in the real world, the standard deviation does increase over time. People at the last time period will usually have the largest standard deviation, and it's larger, uh, usually some t substantially larger than the time one. And one of the assumptions of the uh, repeated measures ANOVA is that there is homogeneity of variance, and it tests it with a test called Mochley's test of sphericity, which I'm going to get to in a minute. This is the multivariate test, and it's, and it's outputted by SPSS automatically. It is a legitimate analysis. It's something people often do in a repeated measures design, and I'm going to follow that up uh, in, a, in a future video. I'm going to talk about repeated measures ANOVA in the multivariate MANOVA context. But I'm not going to talk about it in this analysis, except to say when you violate the assumption of Mochley's test of sphericity, uh, some people often go to the multivariate test because it doesn't assume that. What is Mochley's test of sphericity? It's something that typically you do not want to uh, reject the null hypothesis for. Mochley's test of sphericity is indirectly testing the assumption that your variances or standard deviations are actually going to be the same as well as the covariances between time 1, time 2, and time 3. Now typically, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this right now uh, to, to get an understanding of what's going on. Unfortunately, SPSS doesn't give you the correlation between time 1, time 2, and time 3. So people who scored high at time 1 on this IQ test most likely also scored high at time 2 and also most likely scored, time, scored high at time 3. So there's a correlation between the dependent variable scores from time 1, time 2, to time 3. Uh, uh, the repeated measures ANOVA assumes that that correlation between time 1 and time 2, and between time 1 and time 3, and between time 2 and time 3 is going to be equal. So let's t actually take a look at this. Let's look at the correlation. So we get the correlations between time 1, time 2, and time 3. And we can see that there is some deviations. Time 1 to time 2 are about the same, 8.85 in time 2 and time 3, 0.8 between time 2 and time 3, and then time 1, time 2, 0.85, roughly the same, but then only 0.65 between time 1 and time 3. So the correlation is actually going down as we get further and further away from time 1, which is what usually you see uh, in practice. And um, Mochley's test of sphericity indirectly tests that these correlations are the same. I won't go into too much detail about exactly what Mochley's test of sphericity is testing, except to say that it's not actually testing directly that the variances and covariances or correlations are the same. You can get a um, a variance-covariance matrix in SPSS by going into the reliability analysis utility and click on statistics and getting covariances here. Inter item will present, pretend that our variables are items. They're not. They're just variables. But we can get um, the variance-covariance matrix. And what uh, 
repeated measures ANOVA assumes is that these variances here, time 1's variance is 7.85. That's simply the 